Now, the concept that we are going to discuss is VLSM. And pay your attention that this is kind of a thing that's, a, that, that's not usually easy. But if you understand each and everything very well, then you might crack it. So VLSM stands for Variable Length Subnet Mask. Right? Variable Length Subnet Mask. And what does this mean? We, we learned about subnetting and how it works. So let's say that you kind of build up a network in which the requirement of host that you have differs according to the, uh, the size of the employees that you have uh, in your de different departments. So you have four departments. The first department is sales. And the sales department has a requirement of 120 users. Cool. And then there is another department called marketing. And the marketing department has a requirement of 60 users. And then there is third department called HR. And the HR department has a requirement of 25 users. And then there is also an admin department which has a requirement of 10 users. This is the office requirement that you have gotten. You, you, you got to build up a topology that works, but your network admin has only provided you a single subnet called 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Well, that's the only subnet that you have that you have over here. If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Then if we build up a topology according to this way, you will have a router over here. That's going to be your R1. Then you will have another router, let's say R2. Then you will have another router, let's say R3. And you will have another router, R4. Cool, and then we basically connect it with different switches. So you will have a switch over here. You will have another switch. Another switch. And another switch. Oh, no, let's not connect them together now. This is how the topology looks like. And then the network that you have provided with is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And you're going to have different PCs that would be connected. The lines indicate the users. So the first network is going to have 120 users. That is for sales. Then you're going to have 60 users for marketing. Then you're going to have 25 users for HR. And you, you're going to have 10 users for admin. So the golden rule of VLSM is bigger network to smaller network which means you cannot configure the network that has a requirement of 10 users first and then go to the bigger ones. Do you understand that? So you need to start with the biggest one, that's 120, and then go to the, uh, the biggest one, and that will be number one, then number two will be 60, number three will be 25, number four will be 10. That's, that's exactly how you go, okay? You cannot go like this, first one will be this, second is this, third one is this, and fourth one is this. No, not like that. The only rule that VLSM has is configure the bigger, biggest network first and then go towards the smaller ones. So in order to figure out the, I would say, subnetting for the first network, that is 120 users, you need to do subnetting. And what do we figure out for 120 users? Getting back to subnetting, we are using 192.168.1.0 slash 24 networks. 
right? But as you have a requirement of 120, what's the nearest value into power of two? That's going to be 128 users. That's going to be the requirement. So writing down the master formula again, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. And the values that we used, number of network, number of hosts, subnet mask, and ranges. These are the four things that we used to fetch out. And over here, the priority will be given to number of hosts in VLSM. Okay, it doesn't matter how many network do you have. So you go with number of hosts. And how do you go ahead? The number of hosts, as you need 128, how many bits do we need to keep off? As number of hosts is 2 to the power, number of off bits. How many bits do we need to keep off? 7. Correct? Do you all agree that? Perfect. So we will say 2 to the power 7 will be off. That gives you 128 users. And we are only going to use 120 of, 120 of that. However, the valid will be 128 minus 2. That's 126. And then ultimately, as we have turned down 7 bits, how many bits are going to be on? for number of networks, one, perfect. So because two to the power, number of borrowed bits is what networks you know, sounds like. And that's gonna be two to the power one that will ultimately make two networks. And uh, can we say that the first network for 120 users is made up of slash 25? We can say that it's a slash 25 network for first network. Perfect. So the subnet mask for slash 25 can be 255.255.255.128. Any questions? Very good. And then the networks for them will be 192.168.1.0, right? And it will end up on 192.168.1.127. And then we'll have 192.168.1.128 to 192.168.1.255. These are going to be network number one and network number two. Okay, for the thing. But we will only use this network, the first network, and we will not use the second network that we have. Make sense? because we are going to again inherit this network into some other partitions. So we will just use the first network and that first network is going to be used for the biggest network that we have. So to come up with a solution, the sales department is gonna get 192.168.1.0 slash 25. Good. And then, out of the 256 IP addresses we had over here, how many IP address did we use? For network number one, we used 128 IP addresses. How many IP addresses are still with us? We have 128 more IP addresses. And the next network, next, next requirement is for 60 users. So let's go ahead and figure that out as well. You guys are getting it now, I guess. <laughs> So we have a requirement of 60 users. So what's the nearest value that we can come up with in the power of two? There you go, 64. Good. How many bits can we keep off? Six bits. That's two to the power six in number of hosts. That gives you 64 hosts. How many bits do like, will we keep it on? Perfect, two. So that's gonna be two to the power two, and it's gonna be four. And the subnet mask, can we say that it's gonna be of slash 26 for now? Because we have two bits as on. 
And just for that, the subnet mask will be 255255255192. Exactly. And then what would where would we start with our, with our network? The network is going to start now at 192.168.1.128. And we're going to end up at 192.168.1.191. This is the block that we're going to use. Doesn't matter because the first network is already used there. We cannot again start with 1.0 and end up at 63 uh, because the number of hosts is 64. Okay, we're gonna start next to what we have used prior. So we will start with 1.128 and we'll end up at 1.191. Good, yes, we need to add 64 bits, not, not the 65. 64, I would say IP addresses and not, six, uh, the, not the bits. Make sense? Okay. So I would say, and this is going to be the network ID, and that's going to be the broadcast ID. Cool. So I can say that the marketing department is going to get the network of 192.168.1.128. Uh, slash uh, 26 makes sense. And then the next requirement of us is going to be of 30 users. So for 30 users, and then the next requirement is of 25 host, I would say. And the real need, the nearest value is 32. Can we say that? Perfect. So we're going to keep how many bits as of two to the power five. And the number of network would be two to the power three, that's eight. And it's gonna be slash 27 now. Good, the subnet mask is going to be 255255255224. And the network, uh, sorry. And the network that we're going to start up with is 192.168. 1.192 and we are going to end up at 192.168.1.223. That's what it's going to be. And then the, the network that we're going to dedicate for HR is going to be 192.168.1.231. One hundred and ninety two slash twenty seven. This is what we are going to dis, uh, dedicate. Make sense. And for the last network that we have, which is for. Ten hosts. You can say that. The number of hosts is going to be near near where to 16, so we're going to keep four bits as off and four bits as on. And the, as we're keeping four bits on 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 makes 240. And the network is going to start up at 192.168.1.224. And it's going to end up at 192.168.1.239. That's what the block size would be. So you can say that we are dedicating 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 224 slash 28 correct for the fourth network that that goes that goes to the admin department i hope you all understand that and that's how you configure variable length subnet mask for a network